Three Legacies Wrestling has returned to the Brightside Opportunity Center. Over 550 fans in attendance. Chris O'Mealy and Joey Image, the voices of Three Legacies Wrestling, will be calling the action with you right here on this chilly January evening in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Good evening, folks. Thank you for joining us. Ladies and gentlemen, the following pre-show tag team match is for what's called the referee, Pedro Torres. Introducing team number one. Right, we have Pedro Torres, our opening referee for our opening contest. Our resident barber has returned. Porter looks like he's on an adventure right here. Got his backpack all set up here. Jason Blaine Bridge Porter gonna be the tag team, our opening match. and Junie Underwood be the opposing tag team here. A friendly neighborhood fire starter. And I hope that means more of the excitement side of starting a fire and not the arson side of starting a fire. But hey, well, we're not here to judge. It is pretty, pretty chilly this evening, so I mean, maybe, maybe we can use it. <laughs> oh my god, the match hasn't even started yet and there's dissension between... Uh, uh, Jason Blade, Blade has had one match here at Three Legacies Wrestling. This will be Bricks Porter's first time appearing for Three Legacies. But already not a good start if you're not on the same page as your tag team partner. For the bells even rung, I might add. Yeah, we're starting off with dissension already between these two. And I well, we think uh, Underwood and Collins look ready to go, man. Yes, got a... Very hot crowd here tonight. Standing room only, as a matter of fact, as Three Legacies Wrestling continues to grow throughout Lancaster. Briggs Porter and Kenny Collins starting things off here. Kenny controlling the left arm there. Briggs reverses it. You see Junie Underwood trying to will the crowd behind his tag team partner here. There's Kenny Collins, trying to get the headlock takeover, not quite able to get the bigger man off of his feet. And Briggs Porter, great job there, controlling the left arm, bringing Collins down to one knee. I think this crowd is solidly behind Collins getting, well, maybe not, maybe not, kind of getting him back up there, but then Porter just forces him back into that corner. 
Ref Torres admonished me about that. Irish whip. Collins up and over. Headlock takedown. And just like that, Kenny Collins back in control here. Referee Pedro Torres in perfect position there. And Ricks reverses it. Collins back up to his feet. And a quick tag there. <laughs> Rich Porter gets out of there. I don't think Jason Blade expected that tag. And again, I mean, well, Collins and Underwood look like they're ready to go. And Porter and Blade are fighting with each other. Well, Blade did want to start this match. And I think he's got an issue with his tag team partner not letting him do that. He wants Junie Underwood. Underwood tags in. Man, we got a big crowd here tonight. 550 plus here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, ready for three legacies. Standing room only, as a matter of fact. Now, Jason Blade trying to control the headlock here. Backed up in the ropes, comes off. Oh. Nice shoulder tackle there. Okay. Showing a little bit of dominance. Oh! Underwood, a little bit of speed boost right there. Able to catch up to Jason Blade and stop in his tracks. Nice drop kick. Underwood with a nice little flurry there. And Blade might be in trouble early on here. Looks like calling to his tag team partner here. Tags Kenny Collins back in. Nice little chop here. And some double team. Nice double team. The referee's got to get one of those guys out. There we go. Underwood's out. Oh, tags right back tags in. Tags right back in. And here we go. Slides right towards the other <laughs> corner here. Sykes out. Bricks Porter. And oh, <laughs> Jason Blade down for the count, but kicks out right at two. Man, I, I feel like I'm repeating myself over and over, but you got to stay on your opponent. You don't have time to sit there and argue with the referee or yell at the fan. Just get on him. You said you that on our win. last show. Yeah, you, you made a very, very yeah, good point you about win. that. I mean, well, that's one way to <laughs> on top of your foot. Uh, there's the showboating right there. I mean, you give your you give your opponent a way out. You give him a couple seconds to get out and and I mean, get, by the you know, back back in the swing of things, and you're just sure, you're causing trouble line. for yourself. Jason Blade going for a cover here. I did notice he was able to hook his one of his legs around one of Underwood's other legs. That's a unique way to hook. Not something you see that often, Joe. No, it's not. And it's a very interesting strategy. Oh, okay. Now he's saying, well, <laughs> these guys are just to take not over. on the same page. Not at all. This could be very detrimental if they were looking for a win here we, tonight. We are packed as is. We still got fans coming in here tonight. Still fans coming in the door. I mean, we're already at standing room capacity. Ooh. And I don't think anybody's happy to see just tagged, or Blade. Just tagged in his partner with a Ric Flair a chop. chop to the chest. <laughs> Underwood in trouble here, though. Think, they may not yeah. be on the same page, but they have the advantage. The yeah, Underwood. I think Underwood's uh, a, lot, it's a lot smaller than both of these guys. I mean, you get either one of them in there against him, and it could be trouble for him. Remember, Jason Blade, the barber here, could be thinking haircut time. These guys are not careful. Oh, that was a headbutt right to the chest. And Enziguri right there, the back of the head. Jason and Blade down. I mean, uh, excuse me, Blade is down. Underwood looks like he's a little confused, not sure which direction he needs to roll in. Blade is in the wrong corner there. Reached for his tag team partner, realized it was his opponent. <laughs> nice kick there by Underwood. Smart on Underwood's part, that nice. That running elbow right there. Hits Bricks Porter hard. Beautiful drop kick by Kenny Collins. Collins on fire right now. Porter and Blade, Porter and Blade are still yelling at each other over there in the corner. <laughs> Man, Collins, Collins takes Blade just down. drop kicks Blade right out of the ring. Blade looks like he's uh, dreaming a little bit right now. He doesn't necessarily look like he cares that his partner's getting beat up right now. 
No, but Porter did take an advantage there, but again. What are we gonna see here? Collins on his feet. Nice knee right to the face. Now, Bricks Porter looks like to me like if Phil Anselmo from Pantera and Braun Strowman had a kid. That's what it would look like. <laughs> wow, nice Underwood double knee. Underwood takes knees. down Blade. Collins oh, goes for the cover, wow. and there's the win. You know, I don't care how big you are, how small you are, how fast you are, whatever, how good you are. If you're not on the same page as your tag team partner, you're not. I mean, it's going to be hard to come out on top. You're absolutely right here. And when you look at these two guys, they were working together. They were communicating with each other. They they noticed early on. Yeah, the, the, these the, difference, guys, the difference is these guys are communicating with each other and the other two are communicating at, at each other. At each other. Yeah, well just, said. Well said. It's not, yes. I mean, I was in a tag team for a long time, myself and Eric Andretti, and we got along all the time. We never had dissension or arguments or nothing. I mean, and we, we were, you know, we went on to become tag team champions multiple times. I think twice it was, but you just can't, I mean, <laughs> unless you were forced into the match, you know, unless you were forced into the tag match, you know, you, you signed that dotted line to, to, to be, oh, hey, there's referee Zach Carlucci just came out, speaking <laughs> of dotted lines. Uh, I don't know what that's doing with anything, but you uh, you signed that match, you know, you signed that contract to be in a tag match. You better be with a partner that you can trust. Yeah, I mean... Best referee in the building. In the state, I should say. <laughs> Is he from? All I heard was from New Jersey. Something New Jersey. This is another trainee. We've seen some of Johnny Rod's students here at Three Legacies Wrestling before. And Joe the, Scott. The unpredictable Johnny Rods. Hall of Famer. Great guy. Who created above average? Joe Scott. I guess all of his other students were just average. This one was above average. Then he'll stand out above the others. Hi ho, Silver. <laughs> Geronimo Gomez all the way here from New Mexico. Wonder if he ever had any encounters with Walter White. Is that near New Jersey? Not even close. Is it near Old Mexico? Old Mexico. There's a new one. There must have had to have been an old one at some point. <laughs> that means there was at least one. Yeah. Nasty. <laughs> Brian Starr, no stranger to Three Legacies Wrestling. We've seen and, Brian Starr a few times. And another another graduate of uh, Johnny Rod's uh, world of unpredictable wrestling. So, makes, makes you wonder if Brian Starr and Joe Scott are going to be familiar with one another. And a triple threat match is, can be pretty tough here. What's, your, what's the best strategy for a triple threat match in your opinion? Sit back and let the other two guys kill each other. And then jump in. That's what I always tried to do. Well, look at this. It looks like uh, Brian Starr is actually trying to align himself with Geronimo Gomez. Yeah, the Gomez. two long-haired guys are like, hey, let's beat up this, this uh, 
short-haired, yeah. oh, pale guy. Uh, and then uh, that didn't that happen. didn't pan out. <laughs> Maybe he is still nasty. <laughs> wow. That, that, that just rocked. We've already seen one Gomez. tag team fall apart. <laughs> Not that this was a tag <laughs> well, yeah, team, right, right. but... No, but they... And Star now the, at least attempted some sort of relationship there. <laughs> some sort of partnership. Now the Johnny Ross boy's going at it. A lot of speed here. Nice slam. But barely a one count there. It was a really nice power slam. And Geronimo, I think. <laughs> Geronimo's just. He was just. He just got stars rocked. Right yeah. He's just out there, like, kind of wondering what, what the hell just happened. Well, Brian, Brian Starr was trying to go for a really quick victory here, and that yeah. that's a good strategy in a triple threat match. Oh, yeah. Take out one opponent and then immediately put the other one yeah, down. Yeah, because you don't want to, the longer you take, the more, the, uh, more time we've the other We've seen this before. Got. Brian Starr up on the top rope, walking the ropes. The longer you take, the, the more time the third opponent's got to, uh, or your second opponent, I should say, has got to get back in there. Absolutely. So Brian Starr clearly wow. trying look to put the, this away. And look at the handprint on Joe Scott's back. Oh, that has to hurt. Be feeling that. I in mean, the usually you see him on a guy's chest, but man, I could see that from here. And there's Gomez. <clears throat> I think he's had enough. That's of... uh, that's Wednesday's father, right? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Gomez. Like Alfredo Gomez. Not the, that's a guy you used to you, work you, with. You could have stuck with the Breaking Bad references and mentioned Steve Gomez. Well, Gomez got shot. So. <laughs> Spoilers. Yeah. For a show that went off the air over 10 years yeah. ago. <laughs> oh, my God. A power a strength slam, here super, and a, a power bomb superplex combo from Double G. Gus. Uh, Gus. You said, you said, you said <laughs> now breaking you got breaking bad, bad, bad on the mind. From yes. Geronimo Gomez. Oh, but foot on the rope there. Joe Scott with the above average ring awareness. <laughs> exactly to get his foot up on the rope here. Break that count. Gomez now on the offensive here. And he was out for a second, but he's coming back in. A world of fire here. Is Geronimo Gomez related to Gus Fring? I don't know. Why'd you ask him? Uh, I don't think he can, he can hear me from over here. I, I bet Zach knows. Standing slam here. Gomez going in. I'm looking for Notice cover. how he hooks... Or not hooks, really, but he pulls that arm in tight, which, again, forces your, your opponent to exert more energy to get to kick out of that cover, which is just going to drain him even more. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> and the, don't forget Stars about Stars right Star. outside to <laughs> put Geronimo right down. Nice little boot to the bread basket oh. there. Is and now... Double suplex. The Johnny Rods boys double suplexing. A little Drum. bit of a uh, little bit of a part uh, so cooperation there. <laughs> now they want to team up. Are they going to try to finish Gomez and then make this a one-on-one -on -one match like it was earlier? Yeah. I'm saying it's your turn now. Oh, and Joe Scott falls for the super kick trick, too. <laughs> clearly didn't and learn a lesson from how this match started. Clearly rocked him, too. <laughs> Look at Brian Starr checking to make wow. sure his opponent's actually out on the outside before he goes back on the offensive here. Gomez does not seem happy. I, I don't I blame him. He wants to punch the crap out of Brian Starr. Back at the back elbows here. Stars down twice, it bounces right back up, and Gomez stays right on him. Just like I've been saying, you gotta stay on a guy if you wanna beat him. You don't gotta take time You've to. You've been saying that for literal months now. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. Alright, Gomez going for a suplex. Star blocks it. Gomez blocks the attempted reversal. He just can't get him up. <laughs> What's happening here? Oh my and Christmas! Suplex right over the top rope, over. and Gomez tumbles out right after wow. Brian Starr. <laughs> and Starr was already out of the way. It's not even like he was there to break Gomez's fall. They just both hit the floor. <sighs> Rough landing for both men. Zach Carlucci making sure both men can continue here. Gomez still wanted to wheel people into this fight. I thought Zach Carlucci fell out of the ring too. <laughs> the suplex is so good, the referee goes out too. 
And Gomez uh, oh, stopped right in his tracks. His fist right in the face. Star back in. And I don't see, I, I still don't see Joe Scott. He's still out there somewhere. And now, Brian Star going for a figure four leg lock. Locks it in. Beautiful. And, and Brian Star's got some height on Gomez, so he's got a lot of leverage on this. Oh, oh Joe oh. Scott comes out of nowhere. I wasn't even paying attention to him. I didn't even see him. Look at this. Gets Gomez out of the ring. Has the ring all to himself here. Joe Scott's very white. <laughs> I've noticed. And that's got him up. Oh. Nice cutter. Beautiful modified cutter there. Goes for the pin. Nice. And that's it. Very quick paced action Look at Gomez here. Gomez is not happy. He was on the outside. He wasn't even involved in the decision. I mean, I don't even know if he knew what was happening. Very impressive. It's one thing to lose a match. It's another to have a victory taken away from you and you weren't even factored into it. Correct. Well, Brian Starr truly is the best around, or at least as far as this triple threat match, match is concerned. Yeah. Vanquishes two opponents. Not an easy thing to do in a triple threat match. But Brian Starr did a really good job keeping the, the ring cut off, getting his opponents out of the way. Just smack that kid in the head. He deserved it. <laughs> I'm sure he probably yelled something. Uh, that, that kid's not part of the cheeseburger hat family, is he? Can't really tell here. Where's his? Gomez gracefully hat. bowing out. So, great way to, to really kick off the night here. Tag team action and a triple threat match. Yeah, that was that was a really good match. <clears throat> and we have a lot of action planned for you here as Carolina Jim gets back in the ring, including a tag team main event featuring two former WWE superstars. But that's to come later tonight. <laughs> We're about to get some answers finally. Look who's coming out here, and he's not alone. Kevin Murphy. And he's got that's the that's the young man we've been seeing who's apparently got an issue with Ricardo Rodriguez. That's the tall man we've been seeing. Look at that. Guy's one giant bicep. He might be the new Paul Enormous. Lancaster not impressed by pro wrestling's richest man. Check 
his IMDb page. I want to know what movies he was in. Robes, but can we get this guy out of here? I didn't realize there was anything wrong with the ropes here. I guess they don't meet Mr. Kevin Murphy's approval. Gotta make sure all of them are tight. That's good though. What's he, what's, go, what's he doing to this? What's he got this kid doing right now? Dude, he's just part of the ring crew. You've got to be kidding me. Wow. That was... No, S somebody stop him. The kid's helpless. Kevin Murphy is sick right now. There we go. Ricardo Rodriguez coming to the aid of one of the poor kids on the ring crew here. The kid's not even moving. Well, he lives in Lancaster, I think, so... Yeah, yeah, Kevin Murphy, you and Clayton Adams showed your big man right there picking on a kid on the ring crew. Can he get this Clayton Adams kid to like a tanning bed? Maybe? Six foot nine. Somebody. Somebody. Referees, what are they going to do? They're not medical technicians. We need medical attention for this. We need to. We might have to get this kid to a medical facility. Not a hospital. <laughs> no such thing. There we go. Other ring crew stepping up here. Poor kid's just trying to do his job. Kevin Murphy, the ropes are too loose. Maybe, maybe Ricardo could finally knock some sense into this kid, Clayton Adams. What is he here for? Revenge or something? Wonderful place. Why did he 
keep saying we. Is he, is he gonna serve my breakfast? Maybe he's a stockholder. <laughs> When's their earnings call? Giving me the munchies right now talking about this. And Bruce Delaney back. Serious as a heart attack over Speaking there. Speaking of hungry, I tried to send one of these fans sitting by us to the concession stand to get me food. He told me no. <laughs> because he, that's because he's wearing a cheeseburger on his head. No, I wasn't that kid. I would just took his hat and ate that. <laughs> He's wrestling debut here, already shoving his weight around, pushing poor Carolina Jim out of the way. There are a lot of six foot plus guys here. And here is another one. It's Zach Ramses. Well, hopefully this one's not gonna pick on the ring crew. Here's a returning favorite. Majestic Prince Noah making his return to Three Legacies Wrestling here. Crowd very excited to see him, and he didn't bring his boat with him tonight, his ark. I thought he had an ark, this guy. Well, and we had to get here from Puerto Rico somehow. Yeah, he had an ark, a whole bunch of animals on it. That's what I was told. I heard two of each one. <laughs> Noah. His last name is a lot of animals. I thought Noah was the last name and Majestic was the first name. That's possible. Or Prince. Majestic Prince, whatever he wants to call it. He's got a tall order here against yeah, the debuting Zach Ramsey's. Six foot nine, 280. Zach Ramsey's is not impressed at all with Prince Noah. <laughs> All right, Bruce Delaney calls for the bell. Thank you, Ref Delaney. Ramsey's is not impressed with Noah, doesn't want to hear anything from this crowd. I think he just wants to get in there, get, his, get a win, and then that's it. Well, building a legacy in professional wrestling is all about getting wins. As you would know, or maybe you don't. What's your win-loss record again? Uh, it depends on what company you're. Overall, I have no idea. <laughs> a lot and a lot. <laughs> Ramsey's, Ramsey's is showing off to the crowd right here. I mean, he hasn't really done much. We just got started here, but yeah, kind, of, kind of funny how he's. Not really invested in the crowd much, but <laughs> sure seems to like to play up to them. We've mentioned this before in the past, especially right here at Three Legacies Wrestling. Ego can get you in a lot of trouble if you're not, you're, you're a little too cocky and a little too careful there. Went for the man's mask. Yeah. Might I mean, have actually gotten him in the eye, it looks like. Oh. 
A lot there's, of aggression from the Zach Ramseys. There's a there's a there's a, a time to be arrogant, but again, when you're in there with a with a guy, you don't want this. You just want to go after him. And, and there shows right there. Schoolboy roll up almost got Zach Ramsey's right at the get go of this match. That's shoulder block's not gonna happen. Doesn't that guy have his own insurance or something? <laughs> Ramsey's is really not impressed by Prince Noah. Ramsey would be Ramsey's would be impressed if you heard my jokes. Oh, though. clearly. And Noah springs well, right back up. Noah pops right back up, and Ramsey's is definitely not happy with that. Goes for almost full Hurricane Rana there. Gets him into the ropes. Drop kick. Ramsey's through Ow. the ropes. Oh, he oh, took a swing just, and a fan just, there. You could tell he's not having it right now. That guy almost lost his phone. What's Noah thinking here? Oh, good, uh, good self-awareness right there. Catching him with a the kick. Top rope. Asai moonsault. Beautiful moonsault. Ain't famous, of course, by Ultimo Dragon, inventor of the move, and a little, little Guerrero shimmy right there. Crowd firmly behind Prince Noah here. He rolls Ramsey's back into the ring. Ramsey uh, does not look happy. W would you be at this point? And look at that. Wow. Well, Ramsey's got force up behind that drop kick. And just just laying into him now. Forearm yeah. strikes. Choking him. I mean, that's a blatant choke, ref. Come on. R Ramsey's tried to protect his head there, but I don't think it really made much of a difference. What is Ramsey's thinking here? Again, a little bit of showboating, but at the same time, he does have his opponent down at the moment. Bruce Delaney trying to regain a little bit of control over this match here. He's got that five count, though. I mean, again, it's, it's four before until you're DQ'd, but... Uh, sure, but at, at the same time... You want to take advantage of that. But, we, but again, good authority there from Bruce Delaney. Pretty strong Irish whip wow. there. Italian whip. I feel like I felt the ring shake on that one. Wow, and nice again, back elbow right there. And a lot of speed and force behind that. Zach Ramsey's in full control of this match right now. You ain't gonna beat no, you know, you ain't gonna beat him with like a in the chest, not like that. Really can pinch a nerve right here with a hold like that. Make your entire arm go numb. But Noah's saying he's Noah's saying Noah. <laughs> Fans really trying to help Will Prince Noah back into this. Ramsey smartly ducks. Oh! Nice. Drops right to. I thought we had. I thought he had him right there. Drops right to the. Chest. 280 pounds coming down Kinda on your took, chest cannot yeah, feel comfortable. Takes the wind out of you, man. Absolutely. <laughs> Careful, there could break something. Shatter a collarbone. Break sternum or something. Sternum, absolutely. Now he's just toying with him now. Looks like going for a double underhook here. What are we thinking? Oh, man. It's a double underhook power slam. Ramsey's going in for another cover. You can't, I mean, come on, man. These arrogant covers are not going to get it done. You got to hook something. Just too much air in there, too much space. Misses with the See, elbow. And he gets up to argue with the ref, takes his time, and that was all it takes for Noah to wheel himself back Prince into this. Noah, yeah, too much time to rest and get out of that, get out of that predicament he was in. Noah fends him off with a kick. 
Nice up and over. And now Noah's going for the cover, but Ramsey's kicks out. He's gonna try again. Barely got a one count out of that. Right, Ramsey's is shaking, but if Noah's no one's arguing with the ref over the count. If, if no one wants to finish Ramsey's off here, he's gonna have to get way more offensive. <laughs> Well, he's been taking a bit of offense to the referee's counts wow. there. But. Yeah, those are, uh, I think Ramsey's taking offense to these chops right here. Got a good low body shot there, right in the ribs. Wow, nice little forearm right there. Uppercut forearm. Noah's finally got Ramsey shaking here. Ooh, oh, nice man. His knee there. Right to the face, the head area. Top in the back, kick to the chest. That will uh, put you in a bad mood. Absolutely. Quick. <clears throat> Although I will say that there's not a lot of zest on those kicks anymore, like there was. Yeah. Clearly taking the toll on Prince Noah here. He's trying to keep Ramsey's grounded. Not sure how the strategy is going to work here. Reverse Irish whip. Noah's up. I think you tried Ramsey's to almost. Caught him. I think you almost tried to fake him out there, and it. Ramsey's Ooh. caught Noah right, and you got a hook. There you go. Got there you a go. Nice power slam there. That's nice gonna power be slam. It. And he hooked that leg, and you notice he got the wick, the, the wick, the victory. The victory. <laughs> so I was about to say. The yeah. vin, <laughs> the victory. Impressive showing by Prince Noah, but it was not enough to take down a bigger opponent such as Zach Ramsey's. And I think that little bit of frustration that Noah started having right near the end there, I think that could have been the downfall of this match. But in the end, the arrogance, I mean, it didn't get him the win, but Ramsey still helped. Walked, certainly helped, exactly. Ramsey's walking out of here a winner today. And Noah's walking out with a little bit of assistance from the referee right there. And Ramsey's doesn't want anything to do with this crowd. <laughs> Guy's just holding that, that little kid back. <laughs> Adam, cheeseburger kid, not happy with Zach no, Ramsey. No, that kid is not happy with him. But great showing for Noah here. What? Why not give it up for Zach Ramsey? He won the match. <laughs> Let's give it up for the loser. Yeah. How does that work? I have to ask Carolina Jim. I can't answer they that one for you. They don't let the crowd stop and cheer for the guy that the team that loses the World Series, do they? Come on. <laughs> All right, Carolina Jim, getting us back in here. We have another singles match coming up here before we take our intermission. That's why it's Carolina Jim. I get it. He works for Cash for Cars. That's, How about he that? The, he puts the car in Carolina in car at Carolina Cars. I was. This I would have never guessed that Cash for Cars uh, buys cars for cash. <laughs> we buy cash for cars. Well, you can't sue them for false advertising, I suppose. <laughs> Keeping the peace unless fans get in the ring. Right, Larry got him out of there. Man, how long must his birth certificate be? <laughs> Lawrence keeping the peace. Oh. I almost can't even fit that.
Miami making his return to Three Legacies Wrestling. Of course, accompanied He's by wearing his... wearing a shower curtain. <laughs> I mean, his hair does look wet. I mean, maybe... I don't know. <laughs> maybe that's just the latest faction at the Tiger Beach Bahamas. At the Tiger Beach in the Bahamas? Free shower curtains for everybody. His uh, tag team partner, Ace Dallas, in his corner. Imagine taking the time to sew sleeves onto a shower curtain so you can wear it in public. Wow. Well, I can't say I've it's ever done that dumb. before. It's almost as dumb as wearing a cheeseburger on your head. That voice cracked right there. Did you hear that? Head. <clears throat> that would be nice to cheeseburger again. I uh, love that. Or El Piranha might eat him. Look, he doesn't even bother wearing the bandana this month. Last month, his bandana fell off. He lost all his power. Now he's not even bothering to wear it. Sharing his water with the fans. He doesn't look like he's shooting, he's teasing him with it. He didn't give a sip to anybody, he just walked around showing him, I have a, I have a bottle of water. And they're all like, yeah, it costs a dollar, I didn't got one. Prince Piranha, who we have also seen here in Three Legacies Wrestling. Wow, we only need one more Prince match for the Spin Doctors to show up. <laughs> We've had Prince Noah, we have Prince Piranha. One more, we got three princes. I think they ever considered forming a tag team. The they princes. could be two princes. By the way, shout out to Chris Barron, singer of the Spin Doctors. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> I just want to drop a name there for a minute. I love that guy. I mean, I'm the only wrestler Chris Barron or the Spin Doctors have done a uh, autograph session with twice. Well, there's some useless trivia for tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Bell rings were underway with Merrick Miami versus El Piranha. <clears throat> Fans chanting hungry. I can relate to that. Is his first name Larry? The referee's the first L stands name. for El Piranha? Oh, the referee's first name is Larry. No, I know, but I thought Piranha was El Piranha. I don't know. Lanky. Maybe it's Lanky. Oh. Not Larry. I felt that slap. I think Piranha did too. <laughs> you want to aggravate a Piranha here? That slap was, was uh, fueled by the power of the shower. Curtain. A little bit of mat wrestling here from Eric Miami to start things off. I don't, I don't understand the asterisk on the knee pads. That's, that's and Prana got the hand hooked up to the top rope. Oh my We've god, seen... Prana's walking the ropes and like he's Rana. 75 feet tall. That's amazing. That takes Miami out to the outside. As opposed to out to the inside. Exactly. I mean, if he could go into the outside, I'd be really impressed. Oh! Wow. Uh, that almost took out the yellow shirt kid in the front row. <laughs> Which would be okay with me. That's 75 kilos coming at you. Straight oh, from the Amazon. 76 would have taken out that kid. 75, I think he that was right. That was two-day prime right there. And Ace Dallas is trying to get his man back into this. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be working out too well. Prawn up to the top. Nice so I, drop kick. If, if I remember correctly... Uh, Go for cover. But kick out if by Merrick Miami. Uh, Ace Dallas was unsuccessful in his last two uh, matches here in three legacy. So I guess tonight he just gave up altogether. Oh, and just right. Just, Is that what happened? <laughs> He's like, I'm well, not going to bother wrestling. There, there was a uh, tag team victory over South Philly's finest. But uh, oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, he, uh, he has changed tag team partners since then. His first tag team partner. From Order 66 did not help him net a victory. No. So he, he traded up for uh, Merrick Miami General here. Kiesel and that was not uh, successful. But that seems to have worked to his advantage because they did get a, a win there. So Now is Ace Dallas in the corner going to be helpful to Merrick Miami's victory? Or could it possibly be a detriment? Looks like it's very helpful here. The referee not looking. Just grabbed him by the... Couldn't tell if that was by the hair, by the ears, or where he was grabbing him, but... Clearly, very by effective. The hair, his hands might have got stuck. <laughs> might want to keep El Piranha's. El Piranha, who has a very fine hairdo, you might want to keep him away from that barber that we saw earlier. 
And there's, once again, Ace Dallas taking in all the cheap shots when he can get them. Oh, that's a... Okay. It's again going for the Italian whip. <laughs> Finally got it right. Uh, Cuts him changed direction. Here? I was confused. And he's me. fighting him again. There. Every time we've seen El Piranha, he has bitten an opponent. Three Wait for three now on biting opponents. You mean Piranha's bite? No way. Never would have guessed that. Nice and scary. Miami is down. El Piranha <laughs> getting back to a crowd I, solidly behind El Piranha. I hear the phrase Miami is down a lot because my brother in law is a huge Dolphins fan. <laughs> Well, when you're right, you're right. I can't speak. I'm a Jets fan. <laughs> I'm not a so football I, guy, so... I have nothing to say there. Piranha. Seen the quickness of Second El Piranha before. right there to the head. God, Miami's got to do something to regroup, man. I mean, he he's got he, almost no offense going. He's got no... He's, he he's doesn't have time to regroup. Piranha's just too quick here. Dallas getting in Piranha's face now. Piranha going up to the top rope again. Fans once again chanting hungry. El Piranha hungry. Up to the top. Went for a double stomp. Did not land it though. Oh. He went out to the ring to mess with Ace Dallas. Oh wait, we got a cover here. He went out no. to the ring to mess with Ace Dallas and that gave Miami time to uh, kind of regroup, recover a little bit there. And now he's just beating him about the head, neck, and chest. I like that phrase. And again, that's that's where that, that man in your corner comes to your advantage yeah. here. Provided just enough distraction to throw Piranha off his game in Miami. Now back on the offense. And he says he's going up. All the way up top. He should go up more. And well, guess, misses with a splash. He should have went up one more. He would have been better. I think he would have been better off. One more tier. Yes. Piranha with that drop kick to, to the stomach. Knocked Miami's head into that lower turnbuckle pad. Piranha back up. High risk offense. Oh, Piranha's going it's off been paying the top up. now. Oh. Double stomp connects this he time. He connected with that one this time. Nice double stomp. Miami's in trouble. And there's oh, Dallas and on the da apron. Uh, Matt Dallas, I called him. Ace Dallas. <laughs> Matt Dallas is the guy from Kylex Y. And now the Reverend has been bitten. Uh-oh. Might need some holy water for that burn. What if that what if the uh, piranha guy's radioactive? Can he turn into a radioactive fish? Oh, we got him! Oh, he stole that victory! The distraction was enough. I was not expecting that. I was paying attention to uh we're paying to, attention to, to Dallas on the outside. I didn't. Ex I didn't see that pinfall even coming. And so, well, so was the referee. And wow. And that was all it took. Ludovic Borg in the front row is not happy with this. <laughs> There's a reference I wasn't expecting to hear. Well, same hairstyle. That's what the first thing I thought of was Ludovic Borga. Now, well, rest in peace. Oh, look at that. Look at that, some old lady from the crowd. That might be his old lady, actually. Oh, I don't know. Guess when he came up from the Bahamas, he decided to take... Oh, bring yeah, the girl with him. Someone from Tiger Beach? Is there a Lion Beach? Is that like for like the, the younger children? Go Tiger to Ali Beach, correct. Tiger Ali Beach, wow. <clears throat> Since we're throwing out names we weren't expecting tonight. Now, now, I'm, I'm still, still hungry, hungry too. <laughs> Can relate. It's my mom's birthday. Right, Dirty Dango, formerly known as Fandango. Speaking of dropping and X Pac. Names, X Pac, very good friend of mine. Yes. Never met uh, Fandango though. Johnny Curtis.
exterminating tournament, like King of the Ring. Just have a bunch of exterminators, see who can exterminate the most pests. Crown a winner. Hashtag book that. Forty-five sticks what? of butter. Smooth superhero Montekia. That's a. Uh, I'm unfamiliar with this yellow guy. That's a uh, Montekia would be butter in Spanish for those of you who are not bilingual. Wow. Butter. So how do you say parquet in Spanish? Oh, do you think I'm that bilingual? I don't know what kind of bi you are. How do you say margarine? Margarine. In Spanish. You didn't say in Spanish. You just said, how do you say it? I don't know how to say it in Spanish. Well, That's why I was asking you. Oh my God, I know this guy. Also the yellow guy. Regular, regular competitor in uh, northern New Jersey, where I'm from, uh, well, where I'm, where I live. Uh, I see him every month at the Pro Wrestling Magic shows in Richfield Park. Very, uh, don't let his wackiness uh, fool you. He's a very, very skilled and talented guy. Student of the House of Glory. Yeah, he's sometimes a hog. Yeah. He's actually the first hog student to win the hog heavyweight title. You know, his masks are like mood rings. He wears yeah, a he different one. Yeah, he uh, changes the mask depending on how he feels uh, at any given time. Which is... So how's he feeling right now? Well, he's smiling. Well, the mask is smiling. I don't know what he's doing underneath it, but he's, the mask at least is smiling. His mask is smiling and his shirt is smiling. And coincidentally, the mask is... I'm now smiling as a result of this. Coincidentally, the mask is the same color as butter. Well, how about that? Maybe they're tagging It's a Montekia mask. Maybe it's Happy Butter. Maybe that's the name of the, uh, the tag team. Smiley and Butter is Happy Margarine. It's okay. Butters. That's me. <laughs> it's Parquet. Can you can you do a test of strength with a guy as slippery as Butter? Or would you slip right out of it? It depends on how frozen the butter is. A little bit of showmanship here. Smiley. I mean, Montekia is a superhero. And oh, handshake was somewhat of a goat in there. Get started. A very quick paced action here. We know that masks are associated with Lucha Libre, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we're gonna see Lucha style, but they certainly seem to be going in that direction. Antakia up and over the top. Bloxy attempt by Smiley rolls back in. He's up. Electric chair. And goes for a roll through. Not going to make it though. He's trying. <laughs> I don't. Nope, he doesn't. I don't think he's got him. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, I don't think the butter guy even realizes. <laughs> I realize this now. The 
karate-esque kick there into an Inseguri. Wow, Smiley just drops. I hope the guy with the mask wins this, because he really deserves it. He's ripping on the mask right now. Uh, oh, he, he ripped just, it off. He just unmasked Smiley. He just took his face off. I want to take his face off. Even, even Zach Carlucci is offended by this. I don't know if that's John Travolta or Nicolas Cage under there. But he definitely took his face off. We got a little mask exception uh -oh. going on here. I think the mood just changed. And the mood is about to change. Sorry, Taz. I still love you, buddy. Let's oh, roll through here. Nice roll, roll through into a pinning. Oh, maybe not. Pinning Oklahoma combination, Oklahoma I was going to say, but did style. not get him. Smiley with a nice it's arm a nice drag. Nice arm there. drag. He's turning that into a. I almost thought he was turning that into a pin for a second there. Here we go. Pontakia looks like he's a little out of breath here. Oh. I know I've said this every time it's happened, but I felt that from the commentary booth. You just hear that from up here, man. That's, that's chops gonna leave are a, vicious. Even even with that 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 top of his outfit that Smiley's wearing, that's gonna leave a it's handprint. He's gonna be smiling if he keeps this up. That's gonna leave a handprint there. It's gonna hit him so hard that's gonna turn to a frown. Well, that would be impressive. He's Smiley though. He'll turn the frown upside down. Exactly. Zach Carlucci trying to get a little bit of control back here as Montaqui goes back on the offense. Couldn't really see from our position here. Was that a shining wizard from the back? Smiley looks like he's a little bit beat up. Would be a smiling wizard. <laughs> to put it mildly. Cut, hook a leg, I'm begging you. Come on, man. I feel like it's taken a lot of damage just to the arms. I almost feel like I can see welts on him right now. Oh! Oh, that was Smiley unique. Slips. That was pretty slick. He that is, was uh, buttery smooth. <laughs> well, he is uh, under the ring. Yep. And and Butter didn't even see where or mannequin, whatever his name is. Montekia. Oh. Did... He didn't see where he went. Smiley was able to come up from behind and take him down. Mantequilla, yeah. Slowing the superhero down. Wow, that's an open-handed, just a, it's not even a slap, it's just a, what do you call that? Jeez. It's open-handed, but he still does have him in the corner here. Oh, that looked very close-fisted to me. That was just like a beating. <laughs> Two open-handed shots, just right to the side of the head. Once again with the Italian whip. Nice shot to the gut right there. And for a suplex. Loxley puts him on his shoulders. He's gonna go for a running, yep. Running slam right there, and I think Smiley's got to, uh... All right, yeah, he's jumping up and down, we get it. He's got oh. <laughs> He planked right on him. <laughs> that was actually a pretty nice plank. And Butter slipped right out the uh, Butter side of the door. Whatever. That's the back door or the front door. I don't know yet, but there's a lot of Butter involved. I have absolutely no idea how to respond to that. I don't know. Margarine. Smiley's arguing with the ref. He's asking the crowd. You think it was a three? Crowd saying, I don't know, man, it was a two, but. What do you enjoy? Do you enjoy putting butter on your bagels or do you like cream cheese? I prefer cream cheese, but something, something. Sometimes there's nothing better than just a plain toasted bagel with butter, melted butter. With Montequilla, who just got caught by Smiley. Wow. You see the strength on Smiley? He caught him in the air in a suplex position. And just, and just held him there for a second. Jumping off the top rope. That was crazy. And once again, Montequilla slips out. Almost say he is buttery smooth. 
He's certainly buttering. He's buttering up the fans right now. He's trying to get get him back into this, trying to get behind he him here. He must be great at the movies because you just buy the popcorn and you already have the butter. You already have the butter. I like my popcorn with extra Montequilla, by the way. With what? You heard me. I didn't. I thought you said extra hockey, by the way. I mean, I guess I can get popcorn at a hockey game. Ooh. Man, that was a kick right to the side of the head. Smiling his tracks. Get up. Hurricane Rana. Nice Hurricane Rana right there. And Smiley all the way out to the other side of the ring and out. I think he just sat on a fan. Got to key up. Oh! Oh, oh okay. my god, I thought I thought Butter was gonna take out uh, that fan. He's not he's not falling for it this time. Smiley tried to slip under the ring again. This time Montekia knows what his tricks are. That move's not gonna work twice, no matter who he, he, he just come out the other under the ring again. He came out the uh, same side he and went in, but yep, it's he got caught oh. that time. Oh. He's back out, but he's on his feet. And, and now he's not on his feet. He's running dive right again. through the ropes. Rolls him back in. Springboard, drop Beautiful kick. Drop kick. Smiley out again. Montekia still trying to figure out where to go. Yeah, he doesn't know where. And nice over the top up rope, up right the into top. fans in the front row. These fans certainly got their money's worth. They're part of the action now. And once again, that top rope offense working out for Montekia. But. Oh, he, nope. Try to catch him again in that, that suplex position, but <laughs> with a butter almost hits, like a, a butter stunner. A butter or stunner. But not enough to put Smiley away. Nope, not yet. What more could Montekia have in his arsenal to finish Smiley off once and for good? It's got to be something left he hasn't tried yet. Yes, I agree with you. Oh, wow. oh, nice X Factor by Smiley. Tribute to D'Lo Brown there, man. That was wow. I'm surprised he didn't get that. Montagula took a. Hard shot right to the He's face. Bare, can't even get on his feet now. Smiley's got him up. S slips out again. Man, that guy's buttery smooth. He definitely earned that name. Oh! And they close on each other. And the Double close line has both men down. The crowd is loving this match. I mean, these guys are giving it their all. What a match we're seeing right here between both of these masked competitors. But how much more do these men have left in them? Both men trading blows here, and who is going to come up with the short end of this? It looks like man, man the butter guy will. Montekia. Do I need to write it down for you? I've got it written down in front of me. I'm still getting it wrong. Mantequilla. Wills him out. Picks him oh. up. Nice. Spun power it bomb into there. a power bomb. Oh, how did he not get him? How did Mantic? How did he kick out of that? I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Butter. Whoa! Whoa! Nice destroyer Butter. right there. Oh, and he got that's him. That's it. Man, that is it. Mantequilla wins. <laughs> yeah, that guy. Now that what he won, I don't, have to see it. I don't have to say it anymore. Fast that was pace action, a start great to finish. Match by both men. The. Smooth superhero 
We'll walk away with the victory here. Look at this. The buttery... Well, I can't say it. Great sportsmanship right here. Smiley has absolutely nothing to be ashamed of. He absolutely gave it his all. Wonderful yeah, sportsmanship right here. Yeah, this whole crowd right is here. smiling right now for both of these guys. Absolutely. They did great. Absolutely. Fantastic match. You know, no matter no matter what we've done, Joey Image, you and I are still fans at heart. And that was just a fantastic match to watch. Fans just of heart? Fans at heart. Oh, I was going to say, I was never a big fan of heart. Oh. See, I was a fan of Bret Hart, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was okay. Okay? And his family, but not, oh. the, uh, not necessarily the uh, band. <laughs> Fair enough. Brett was okay. That hurts a little bit. I bought mine. Good luck. I would love some. You may For blueprint. Blueprints in the house. Dallas once tonight. Unfortunately. And now <laughs> he's going to be getting in the ring, competing against Richie Nightmare. Now Merrick Miami, fresh off of a victory earlier tonight. Now he's going to have Ace Dallas's back. And we already saw how much of an advantage that gave them earlier. So hopefully the referee is going to have his eye on the man on the outside here. We could be looking at a very, very easy victory for Ace Dallas. I think there's anything in the good book about sinning if you're cheating in a wrestling match? <coughs> I don't think you can cheat in a wrestling match. Oh, I think there's plenty of ways to do that. Oh, uh, maybe there is. You wouldn't know, though. You've, I wouldn't know. You wrestled all your matches with honor. Oh yeah, everything integrity is, is clean. Yeah, absolutely. Always. Okay. Richard Bad Dreams? One way to say it. It is!
So I was going to say that this is going to be Ace Dallas one on one with Richie Nightmare, but this is not a one on one affair. We've talked about this before when we've seen Richie Nightmare here at Three Legacies Wrestling. Distinct size advantage. Oh, yeah. Oh, Richie, yeah. Richie Nightmare weighing in at 300 pounds. Uh, Ace Dallas has got to be close to that, right? 250 well, at least. Combined, combined, the two of them will outweigh Richie Nightmare. So this could be a much more even contest than we realize. If you combine Rich and Nightmare with himself, I'll outweigh himself? I'm right? talking about his opponent. Oh. It's like, of course, if you, out, if you combine him with himself, that just doubles his weight. He would definitely outweigh himself. <laughs> we need you to pay more I attention, think, Joey. I think, uh, I think Richie Nightmare found the 34 pounds that I lost. <laughs> the bell has rung. Nobody making a move yet, but I think we've got, uh, there we go. I mean, there's just a sizable difference here. As big as, uh, as Ace Dallas is, there's just... That, that screech tells you everything you need to know. <laughs> that's what, that's what got me, rendered me silent there for a couple seconds. <laughs> oh my god. Fans chanting chicken. Ace Dallas is not having a good night right now. <laughs> he got hurt earlier. Well, his partner did win the match, but he definitely came out worse for it. <clears throat> There's more screech in this match than Bayside High. Jeez. Or some uh, adult films. So far, Merrick Miami has not stuck his nose in this match and I don't know I mean I I would expect him to but so far he's not he hasn't he wants to do a test of strength with Richie Nightmare and then Richie Nightmare spits on his wrist tape okay are you getting ah uh, now now he doesn't want to do it. Ace Dallas is stalling here. I like this kind of like psych out tactic. You're kind of playing a little bit of games to the guy. Just to kind of get under his skin, get him fired up, get him aggravated. That's when you make a mistake. But, but, but do you want to get a guy that big and that strong aggravated in the first place? Uh, you do, I think. Because again, that's when you, that's when he's going to make a mistake. When, when uh, And he's still, now he's ducking to the outside. But you get a guy the size of Richie Nightmare, aggravated, annoyed, frustrated. That that's really the frustration sets in. That's when you make a mistake. So I think. Uh, <laughs> Say a little prayer for you. I thought he was the Reverend. Who's who's he praying to? Just Zach Carlucci. strategy there from Ace Dallas. Kick him and then get out of there. Oh. I think Nightmare tweaked his knee a little bit. Came down on his knee, tweaked his knee or something. Oh no, not an iPad. Mini. I believe that's the holy book. I know, that's the book. I know. <laughs> that was the joke. It's a mini version of it. That was a, there uh, we go. That was a pretty hard slap across the face in Merrick Miami. He's got to let go of those ropes, though. Jeez, Ace Dallas is just not letting up on those stomps right there. Ace Dallas finally in the position he wanted to be in this whole time. He's got Richie Nightmare down. Now all he's got to do is as yep. much damage as possible. You keep working on those legs. You get a guy like that size down, you keep working on them legs so he can't kick out. I mean, you keep working on them enough, eventually he won't be able to kick out. 
Oh man, you He's don't stand on the knee like the that. leg right there. The knee was not it's, made to oh, be stood on. <laughs> that hurt me watching that. Watch Miami. There you go. And you talked about this earlier. Yeah, he's got that extra man advantage out there. Working on the same leg that Dallas was just stomping on and standing on and, and stepping on. And this is exactly what we saw earlier when Merrick Miami wrestled El Piranha. Ace Dallas had his back and that worked out for them. We look, we're seeing a repeat of that right now. Nightmare is staggering right now. Oh, misses the chop. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God. Oof. You don't want to feel a chop from a guy with that much force behind No, not, not from Richie Nightmare. No, no remind no. me to never take a chop from Richie Nightmare. I, I will try my hardest to remind you. Oh, no. Oh, everyone's... Oh! oh! My God, they heard that in Orlando. Jeez. Temple of Doom just shook. Hamburger. Oh. Yeah, Nightmare it's puts just the boom raw in Temple slap of Doom. Raw meat. Yeah. Now, now that was a warranted scream. That I'll give him screech, that one. Yeah. I'll give him that one. <laughs> and they're, they're smart by Dallas right yeah. there. Yep. Go right back for that injured knee. Yep. Take out the knee. Less trash talking, though. More working on the knee. Nightmare's working himself back up to his feet, and, uh... Dallas is not happy about it. Well, he's going to have to change his strategy real fast. Backs him up in the corner now and shoots him to the other side. Oh, nice back elbow right there. But still, that knee, man, that knee. He tweaked that knee earlier. Dallas is working on it. America's working on it. That's the ring. Did something new. He tweaked it again and just fell right down. I mean, he can't even put... Uh, that's a lot of weight to put on there, but he can't put a lot of weight on that. Wow. That was just... <laughs> thank God. That was just punishing. <laughs> He's taking as much damage as it could possibly take right now. If Nightmare can't get back to his feet soon, he's going to be in trouble here. Oh! Rich, he's got, Nightmare's got him up! He just couldn't capitalize, and once again... Ace Dallas goes for that injured knee. Miami's up there again. And, uh... He's got the book. Why is the referee counting down Miami? He's not in the ring. He's not in the match. Connects with the book. Richie's got it. I think he tied him up, Miami. Nope. Brilliant move there. Yeah. Richie Nightmare. Uh, I've done that. Pretended to get him with the book. Two thousand five I wrestled JT Roberts in Lanceford. And he was beating me pretty good and I, I didn't think I had a chance, so I grabbed a chair. I threw it at him, and then I fell down, and the referee turned around, saw him with the chair, and thought he hit me with it. I mean, it's a smart strategy. If you if you think you don't have a way out, you know, I end up winning that by DQ. But same kind of idea here, man. If you if you don't think you got a chance, maybe uh maybe you can try that. 
<laughs> it certainly worked for me. It's, it's as they say, though, a win's a win. I don't, I don't think Nightmare thought he didn't have a chance, and that's why he did it. I think the kid's uh, just a stick at the Dallas and Miami. And there you go. And <clears throat> obviously it worked because... Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant move. So, Lightning did not strike twice for Dallas and Miami tonight. So, both of those southern cities will walk away tonight. But Richie Nightmare, winner as a result of a disqualification, as he high fives a guy that looks like Tony Khan. I saw that before. I didn't know Tony Khan came to these shows. Tonight's of show here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Three Legacies Wrestling. And we have Tarzan Duran tag team match to close out tonight. And we've seen Tarzan Duran before. The Tarzanian Devil out of the jungles of Jersey. Not a competitor to be taken lightly. Sure, if that was Ricardo's number one fan right there, Ricardo Rodriguez. We saw him earlier tonight fend off money and muscles. Kevin Murphy, and we now know his name is Clayton Adams. We now know who's been behind these attacks on Ricardo Rodriguez. And now Ricardo's gonna team up with Tarzan Duran for tonight's main event, and oh, and mentioned this earlier, tag team partners not being on the same page could yep. spell trouble. Bro Keller. Nothing's there. Sporting a different hairstyle this time around. Guess he saw Jason Blade earlier. Sometime between. I haven't seen this kid all day that we've been here. And, uh, he's been wow, this guy is all energy. So, I just figured it out. Bottle some of that up and give that to me sometime.
see more of Paul London. He is back and involved with Impact Wrestling. And also made appearances in Lucha Underground. So we're going to see Paul London and Bro Keller take on the team of Tarzan Duran and Ricardo Rodriguez in your tag team main event here at Three Legacies Wrestling Chapter 3, Awakening. And of course, we'll be back here on February the 18th for the Brightside Opportunity Center. But for now, great sportsmanship to start off. Two former WWE superstars, Ricardo Rodriguez and Paul London, to start off tonight's main event. And, oh! I think uh, Tarzan Duran has an issue with Ricardo starting off this match. And just tagged himself in. Now London doesn't seem to have an issue with Paul, this. Yeah, Paul London doesn't carry the way. He just wants to beat somebody up, I think. There his, you go. In his one-piece jumpsuit. Good side headlock here. The tackle gets to Arzan Duran down on the mat. He says he's got it this time. Okay. <laughs> Never trust a man wearing cheetah spots or cheetah print, you said. <laughs> I don't know if that's... I thought that was uh, Duran's actual skin. I don't think I know many men that wear cheetah print, so... Tarzan Duran does. Sure does. And that's all you need. I, I know one. And I think Beast Man does, too. <laughs> oh, my God. Who opened the door in here? London goes from behind. Sometimes. Tarzan reverses. Slow start to the match here. If you know anything about Paul London's history as a cruiserweight, while he may not be as young as he once was, speed was one of London's greatest strengths, and Tarzan not obviously did his research here. He's trying to slow London down right from the get-go. And refuses London, to tag I mean, in Ricardo. Uh, Duran refusing to uh, tag Ricardo Rodriguez. Um, I don't know. That might be a mistake. I mean, you want a guy in there that's... Uh, if you're tag team partner, he's got more experience than you. He's a veteran. He's been... He's been on top of the world. I mean, you want that guy... We've said this many times that ego can be your worst enemy out there. Yep. It can hurt more than it can help. And we, we've seen it before from Tarzan Duran. Shoulder block's not going to work here. <laughs> Mocking Tarzan Duran a little bit is Paul London and... Uh Almost staggered him that time, but Tarzan London comes back with a drop kick. Duran did not take kindly to that at all. London puts him right down with a dropkick. Nick reverse the Irish whip. London catches himself and sends Duran out to the apron. Oh, huge chop sends Tarzan Duran down to the floor. Apparently, according to Tarzan's facial expression, that felt as hard as it uh, as it sounded. And another dropkick, and Tarzan is... Almost out of the entranceway here, back to the dressing room. <laughs> this is our main event here, so you can see that uh, referees not even worrying about counting right now. And here we go. The fans are starting to get some shots in. That He's got the kid. power of cheeseburgers behind him. I mean, you can't, you can't compete with that. London's got Tarzan. Wow. Another kid got a huge slam there on Tarzan. Reminiscent of uh, GSW's debut in Stanhope when uh, Johnny Toxic did the same thing to me. I remember that. Dragged me around the ring and little kids punched me and chopped me and slapped me. 
And it wasn't much fun, and it doesn't look like Duran's having any fun either. Oh no, not her. Oh, that's gotta do it right there. I almost feel like his ego's bruised more than his body right now. These fans oh, taking these cheap shots. It's more now. Well, now that London that just chop, got that yeah. chop in. <laughs> London breaks up the count, but again, a lot of leniency right now being made from referee Larry Peace here. And again, it's it's the main event. You don't want to, you're not going to ch cheapen the main event with a count out victory here. And Larry knows that. And I think the fans do appreciate that. It, maybe Tarzan doesn't. He's still oh, letting now fans. Now he's going on the other side. Other <laughs> kids are taking cheap shots. At Is he going to get every single one of these kids? There's a take line of. <laughs> there's <laughs> a line of kids there's here waiting to beat up kids. Tarzan Duran. Again, reminiscent of GSW 2007. Cue up, children. Take your shot. Wow, London is just dragging him to every corner of the ring right now. There's over 550 fans in attendance. They all get a shot. Tarzan Duran may not be able to sleep on his stomach for a year. Oh my God, even Ricardo Rodriguez is Ricardo's smiling about it. That's his tag team partner. It's like watching these little kids beat up Tarzan Duran. Nice roll over there. Nice roll up right there. Well, she showed that disrespect earlier here, and Man, Ricardo Paul. just kind of let him. Let him have it. Paul London's been, uh, you know, air quotes, retired for a little while now. Just recently coming back. And uh, he looks like he didn't lose a beat, man. He didn't skip a Not beat. Not at all. Double He's elbows. Double elbows oh, here. man. I've... You've been on the receiving end of that before, haven't you? I have, yeah. I don't like one elbow when I'm down there. I'm never mind two at the same time. It's great. Let alone two at the same time. Keller had Tarzan back to his feet here. Ducks the clothesline, ducks the back elbow. He's back into an Irish whip, drops down. Leapfrog's over. Okay, oh, nice. Nice, Rana there. And finally, oh. Tarzan's had enough. <laughs> now he tags in Ricardo Rodriguez, who he did not want to tag in before. <clears throat> Ricardo and Bro Keller are going to go at it right here. Nice side headlock on there. Keller shoots him off. That was a brutal shoulder tackle. Nice rollover into a pinning combination. Almost had him right there. Wow. Keller turns it over. Two nice arm drags right in a row there. Ricardo's deaf. Oh, all right. Well, this is going a little faster than I can call it. He's got that head scissors around. Oh, but Keller's got the ropes. Referee breaks it up. Fast pace action here. Fans definitely get nice their money's worth. Yeah, nice deep arm drag right there. Love that beautiful arm drag by Ricardo Rodriguez. Ricardo finally slows the pace down here a little bit. Yeah, we talked about this before, uh, Chris. That um, Keller's a lot smaller than uh, the Ricardo Rodriguez, so he's got the speed advantage. And I think he just uh, showed a little bit of it right there. Ricardo's still kicking out, though. It's going to take a lot more than that to put Ricardo Rodriguez down here. But Bro Keller, not for lack of trying. Nope. Referee's right there checking on Rodriguez like he should be. And sometimes you have to slow that pace down, too, because if you, if you try to go 100 miles per hour the whole time... Wow. Feel that chop. I heard that way back gonna, here where we are. You don't want to burn yourself out here in a match this early. Is that correct, Joe? Absolutely. Although at the same time, you can kind of you can kind of speed up a little bit if you want to because you can always tag your partner and kind of take a rest. True. And try. Yes. But you don't want to get worn. You don't. You don't want to get worn down too quickly because you pointed out earlier. I mean, it only takes one mistake. Uh, you know, one mistake for your opponent to take advantage, and then you're getting and, the. Uh, and we have we have already seen that. You're getting the loser's end of the first. Look there. at that! Right springboard off the top. Oh, nice into a sunset flip. Ricardo kicks right out of that, though. 
And, and Bro stays right on top right on of him. Arm, I mean, right uh, an arm bar. into an arm bar. Exactly. Yeah, Bro Kellis beating up Ricardo Rodriguez like he's Santa Claus. You get it? Because Ricardo Rodriguez beat up Santa Claus on Monday Night Raw. I've, I, I've been scarred by that forever. I'm well, very sorry to hear that. This is happen. Well, if there's one thing I've learned, being involved in professional wrestling since 2005. I don't even think you beat him up. I think you hit him with a car. Yeah, like yeah he did. And then he cried about it. Been, I've been involved in professional wrestling a little less time than you since 2005. But if there's one thing I've learned, Santa Claus needs to stay far away from wrestling rings. Yeah. Good things do not happen when Santa Claus it's gets... a nice little flipping elbow thingy to the back. And look at this. Tarzan, smart. He got his rest on the outside. Yep. He's coming in a little bit fresher he's now. He's fresh, yep. Murphy saying right on top of and Paul Lo London. London, the man. Duran was on the throat there in London. I'm surprised a, a guy of his caliber and his experience making that kind of mistake. I mean, unintentionally distracting the referee, which gave... I, I, I agree with you, but I also noticed wow. as soon oh as he God. I know, really. I as soon as that. he as soon as he realized he was causing a distraction, he did get yeah, out of there. He did get right back out. And I think that's that's part of that veteran mindset there too. Wow, I've never seen that before. It's certainly effective though. I mean I've seen that you know, you get a guy in the ropes, you grab him by the back and choke him on the on the rope like that, but I've never seen you know, leverage using the top rope to push yourself down onto his back. That's a I like that. I almost wish I was still in the ring so I could steal that. Nice little modified X factor yeah. there. Hard to see how he uh, landed on his forehead when he went down there. And London comes in with a furious clothesline. Atomic drop. Yeah, that'll hurt you. <laughs> Standing Hurricane Rana. <laughs> Tarzan's had enough. Ricardo back in. And this is what the fans wanted to see. Ricardo Rodriguez and Paul London. Nice lockup. London backs him right up to the corner. A little bit of a struggle here. I think Ref's trying to... Trying to separate these guys, but no, London with a shoulder right to the midsection. The Irish whip. Wow. One going up top, cross body. Two count. That quick elbow kind of caught, rocked him right Oh! There. No, he ain't gonna run that quickly. <laughs> London's got the advantage here. Rodriguez is in a bad spot. Oh, but I think Tarzan Duran just... Tarzan, yep. Tarzan just, gave the knee in the back and caught it. London by surprise. Oh! Momentum shifted I thought he was going to have him right there. Definitely would have gotten caught there. Momentum shifted immediately. Now London trying to regroup in the corner. Now Ricardo ain't going to let that happen. Man, Ricardo's no getting time. right on top of like, him. Right. Veteran instincts like I've been right there. Saying before, yeah, you can't give anybody time, man. If you want to beat a guy, you just gotta stay on. This is what the uh, young wrestler should be paying attention right here, folks. Ricardo Rodriguez, student of the game, teacher of the game. And he's showing you right here how the game is Ricardo done, except Rodriguez, London blocks it. Ricardo Rodriguez trained Triple H. Yeah, you didn't know that. Oh, Triple teacher. H didn't know that either. He's a teacher of the game. <laughs> Nice suplex there. Man, I love just a solid straight textbook Solid straight suplex, suplex. absolutely. Yep. Just a basic... The, I mean, it but not, not, that but knocks not the enough. wind out of you quick. Not enough to end the match, though. Nope, but that, that will knock There's, the wind out of you quick. And even Ricardo Rodriguez resulting to a little bit of dirty tactics here with Tarzan Duran. But yeah, you, you try to get that victory any way you can. Yep. You want to take advantage. Especially if you're the main event, you're the last thing everyone sees, man. You're the last thing that people are going to remember, or the first thing people are going to remember. Oh, be fresh in their head. That was you a hear shot right that face. kick echo throughout the building. <laughs> He's trying to 
He's oh what what is Tarzan Duran thinking here? He's gonna uh, send Paul London to space. <laughs> Certainly what's gonna feel like. Oh, yep. Oh it's not the space London one to be kicked in. The rocket has landed. I think the rocket's malfunctioning. <laughs> There's just no way to protect protect yourself from something like that. No. No. no Duran just stalking London around the outside here. Wow, drop him right on his face. <laughs> Gut first, right into the apron. <laughs> that can knock the wind right out of you. I've been there. <laughs> Back when I had a larger gut. Ran in with the elbows here. Goes for cover. Paul London kicks out wow, at two. That was very, very close. The, the, the steam has been taken out of Paul London right now. The yeah, wind's been taken so. out of his sails. And... If, Trying to get back into it here. Wow, right in the uh, big running clothesline. That was a big. Wow. I thought he was done for right there. London, clearly in pain right now. I think he he's needs worn to, out, man. I think he needs to make a tag. Yeah, he needs, he needs to get Bro Keller back, back in here soon. There's that like release suplex I talked about. Uh, once ago in a, a does. That's a vicious suplex, and... Yeah, because, man, when you're taking that move, man, you don't know where you're going to land on your head. You don't know if you're going to clip over more momentum and land on your head and your neck. London just trying these, these chops to the chest more out of desperation than anything else. Yeah. Just trying to get back into I this. at the moment, he's just trying to get Durant away from him. He just needs a minute to regroup, and he's... Tarzan Duran being very smart here, not giving him a second to breathe. Just got to watch where that foot is. Larry Peace right there to break it up. And again, using the top, using the top rope for leverage, but again, Ref Larry was right there in position perfectly. There's those kicks again. Those kicks sound so vicious. I can't even imagine what that feels like. You've been on the receiving end of lots of kicks like that. I'm yeah, sure it never gets easier. I don't want to think about what it felt like. <laughs> Are you glad you retired when you hear a kick like that? And when I see one, when I hear one, yeah. Breaks, the, breaks his back right over his knee. But again, London's still kicking out. My doctors are certainly out. not happy that I'm retired. <laughs> but They're not I, happy. No. The more money for them, the more I need to come in and see them. I'm sure your body will thank you when you're 70. It's not 70 now. <laughs> I've only got two more surgeries coming up. <laughs> oh! Close line him so hard he went over the top rope. Nice over the top rope, neck breaker spinning right neck breaker. London is down. This could be it, man. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, my God. Kicks out I at I thought he two. had him. I thought that was a three. That was like 2.8 right there that he I, kicked out that at. Looked like, that looked like a three to me. That was real, real close. If that wasn't a three, that looked like a super, super close. Wow, I thought London. The referee says he kicked out. I thought out. Durant had it right there. Oh, he may have kicked out. I just don't think it was before the three. Look at that little kid. Oh, class. Nice. Shut up, kid. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm supposed to be impartial. And, look, I forgot I'm not in the match. I can't yell. And there's kid. London being smart, rolling right out of harm's way. Enough ring presence to know he's got to move and can't stay in the path there. Oh, he caught him right on the right on the butt of the chin. Right on the kick. button. Yeah, I kind of kind of rocked uh, Duran a little well, bit. Thankfully, not Duran doesn't have a glass jar. He might not be getting back up.
We need some of that all energy from Bro Keller for his tag team partner here. Yeah, he's got to get... London's been in there for a couple minutes now. I mean, he's got to get out of there. He's got to tag out to Bro Keller and forget about Duran for a minute. Let him do whatever he's doing outside. Just get over there, and that's what he's trying to do right now. I think that's exactly go. what he's trying to do. There, there we, we go. go. He got it. He got it. Keller's coming Bro Keller back coming in right in. now after Ricardo. Nice. High nice cross, cross body. body. <clears throat> Couldn't he's keep kicked him down, to Tarzan's face. He's got Ricardo in one corner. Clothesline, kick, knee. Fast succession. And we've seen that nice before drop from Bro kick. Keller. Nice drop kick. Right in the corner like that. Duran is out of the speed. And Duran tried Duran to get Bro out of here. Ducks it. Slams him into the turnbuckle. Oh! Backcracker! Duran on the outside now. It's just Bro Keller and Ricardo Rodriguez. We've seen this before, too. They're up top. Oh! oh. oh. Ricardo, Ricardo had that scouted was, perfectly. He was able to sidestep that, and Keller just came crashing down. Keller right crashed face. hard. Oh. oh, and there we go. That's the and for a name movie. <laughs> London back in. Saves the match for his tag team partner. <laughs> and gets a kick right to the side of the ribs for it. Well, here you go, pal. Thanks. Hard Irish ripped into the corner. Barely oh. pronounce the moves right now. <laughs> Irish rip. That's a, that's a drink, I think. Stomp right to the back there. But R Ricardo, Ricardo in, and he gets London out, out, of, of out of the way. It's only Ricardo and Keller that are left in the ring right now. Rand and London are both on the outside. Ricardo able to stop himself. Oh, that was a nice boot to the face. Nice cutter there. Goes for the pin. No. Bro Keller wow. kicks, Keller out. kicks out. This has been a fantastic main event, folks. It's been a fantastic last couple of minutes, too. Three Legacies Wrestling is the place to be in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. If you weren't here with us live, you're missing out. What is this now? Oh, it's just this tall kid again. Are you kidding me? It, in the middle of our main event, these guys have no decorum whatsoever. And now, what are you gonna do now? You gonna you gonna sick your your Wait six minute, foot nine never, kid on him? He never got a new shirt from when he ripped it off an hour and a half ago. Does he only bring one with him? It's awfully cold outside, but maybe. Oh, Bro Keller just rolled up Ricardo. And the distraction provided the victory. Really? <laughs> Even Ricardo can't believe it. Yeah, he's pissed. I was not expecting this to uh, to lead into these are streamers coming in from the crowd. There I was not go. expecting that to lead into a victory. Kevin Murphy knew exactly what he was doing there. Provided just a long enough distraction. If, uh, yeah, I wonder if uh, London and Keller knew anything about this. He didn't. I <laughs> London. <laughs> well, London's tied up in the, <laughs> in, the in the freaking streamer. <laughs> I think I think he's telling them right now. They didn't know that was going to happen. Think about it. Yeah, though. but again, man, <laughs> any way you can get a he, victory. That's the way I always saw it. I mean, any way I can get a win, I would get that win. If so somebody else happens to come we, out and distract my opponent, we've seen this Clayton Adams before. He's he's physically hurt Ricardo in the past. But this time, he's going for a mental torment here. The way he provided a distraction and cost him a victory. Well, folks, thank you for joining us here at Three Legacies Wrestling. We'll be back on February the 18th right here at Brightside Opportunity Center. For Joey Image, I am Chris O'Mealy. Thank you and have a good night. Bye-bye.